Nobody said it was going to be easy. But these Mandarin classes in Venezuela are proving extremely popular. They've been going since 2016. The, the Chinese, I think, is, is more important inclusive than in English now for Venezuela. Yeah, I mean, with the Chinese people, it's better to talk with them in, in Chinese, better than in English or, or in, in Spanish. Uh, have you found it a particularly difficult language to master? <laughs> yes, it's too difficult. The tones, the grammar, yeah. but you can do it. If uh, nothing, nothing you can not do it if you try. The course must be around the cheapest in the world, as little as $4 a term, though even that is not nothing for many Venezuelans. And the lessons are thriving despite, or perhaps even because of, the economic crisis here. There are 800 students currently studying Mandarin at this university, and there's a waiting list for several classes. Most of the students we spoke to said they wanted to learn because they thought it would help their career opportunities. This man hoped to be a translator for a Chinese construction company. If you like languages, it's a lot easier. The project is a joint initiative by the Venezuelan and Chinese governments. So there are two directors, one Venezuelan and one Chinese. They say this is not just about learning to speak Mandarin. They think that's an opportunity to have uh, another wide scope of the world and another wide scope of uh, getting uh, good jobs, better jobs, okay, if they learn uh, Chinese. And also they admire Chinese people because the country uh, developed so fast. So they are looking at them as um, an example to follow, okay, so that we can develop in our country the same strategies of sí. uh, change a little bit, but using the same, you know, moral concepts and, and the hard work and discipline and all that to get, to help our country to develop faster. Have you found the economic situation here difficult? Uh, it's difficult uh, for the students and sometimes it's difficult for us to spend them money. I often told my students, I was born in 1960s. In my childhood, the life in China was more difficult than what it is here, okay? But, uh, <clears throat> so, but Chinese people never gave up, okay? Hard, uh, working hard, and never gave up uh, changing our fate because we know, uh, okay, knowledge is the power. So it's not just a language that's being taught here. It's also that Confucian philosophy that if you persevere, you can succeed. Stephen Gibbs, CGTN, Caracas.